Almost five years ago, the communities of Fremont and Madison County lost three wonderful human beings, Tylee Ryan, JJ Vallow, and Tammy Daybell. As a Fremont prosecutor on this case, this has been a hard fought battle for both the prosecution team and for the law enforcement agencies that worked tirelessly on this case and never gave up hope. This has been a tough case because of its complexity, both in telling the story of an investigation that spanned years and trying to figure out the best way to present it in a way that would make sense to others. As a prosecutor, I try a lot of criminal cases, but for me, as a new mom, the details of this one just hit differently, and I can't imagine the family's pain. I cannot express enough both my and Fremont County's deep appreciation, gratitude, and admiration for all those who have played a role in seeking and ultimately obtaining justice for the victims in this case. This case has been about speaking for and seeking justice for the lives of three wonderful humans whose lives were cut way too short by the selfish desires of the defendant and his co-defendant, Lori Vallow. We are pleased with the outcome that justice has been served for the victims in this case. This has been a collective effort between multiple agencies working in collaboration to see this case through for the victims and their families. There are so many people who have been involved and helped behind the scenes and every last one of them has been instrumental in obtaining justice. When I came into office in 2021, after discussing the case with others in Fremont County and collaborating with the Fremont County Sheriff's Office, a decision was made to bring the, cases, the case back to Fremont County because we felt strongly the case of J.J. Vallow, Tylee Ryan, and Tammy Daybell should be combined and tried together. You heard from some of the victims' families how these three have been intertwined forever. The Fremont County Sheriff's Office was instrumental in the decision and support of the prosecutor's office in making that difficult decision. I cannot express enough Fremont County's gratitude to Rob Wood and the Madison County Prosecutor's Office. They started this case looking into the whereabouts of JJ and Tylee. Then when the children's remains were discovered, Rob Wood stepped in without hesitation when my predecessor requested he take the case as a special prosecutor and then ultimately agreed to combine resources to pursue justice for the victims in this case. A special thanks to Fremont County Deputy Prosecutors Rocky Wixom and Tanya Rawlings for their dedication and efforts in both this case and the case against Lori Vallow. The Attorney General's Office, in first taking on the prosecution of the murder of Tammy, and then by their agreement to allow us to have Deputy Attorney General Ingrid Beatty join the prosecution team. The FBI for stepping in without hesitation when the children were missing with their extensive experience and their resources and continuing to see this case through to the end. The Rexburg Police Department for starting the investigation into the whereabouts of JJ and Tylee and then never giving up the search. The Fremont County Sheriff's Office for their tenaciousness in pursuing the investigation into the death of Tammy Daybell. Arizona law enforcement for sharing everything they had uncovered and their willingness to come to testify in the cases here in Idaho. This became a joint investigation, a joint effort to find the children, and then ultimately to seek justice on their behalf. I have been absolutely amazed and astounded at the level of investigation, professionalism of the officers involved, and the camaraderie that has been formed. I tell them all the time, they make my job a lot easier. We extend our support to Arizona in their continued pursuit of justice for the additional victims, Charles Vallow and Brandon Boudreaux. We also extend our immense gratitude to the jurors in this case who didn't sign up for this difficult process but agreed to perform their civic duty. And in rendering this verdict, we hope the victims and survivors of Chad Daybell know that the community as a whole does not tolerate the loss of three precious and irreplaceable human beings. We are hopeful that those who have been involved and affected by this case and the actions of the defendant and his co-conspirators can now begin to heal. Four and a half years ago, Detective Ray Hermosillo walked into our office needing a warrant for what started as a simple search for a Jeep to help an investigation in Chandler, Arizona. This, this soon turned into a search for two young children, Tylee Ryan and J.J. Vallow. That investigation merged with the death of Tammy Daybell. Very quickly, multiple law enforcement agencies and prosecutors' offices began working together diligently to find those missing children and determine what happened. 
Realizing the children's last residence was in Madison County, we began a child protection action to bring the children to safety. When it was clear that Lori Vallow Daybell and Chad Daybell had no interest in helping us locate Tylee and JJ, we took further action in filing charges against Lori and extradited her from Hawaii. The search for Tylee and JJ was nonstop. Every stone was unturned through the diligent team efforts of the Rexburg Police Department, Fremont County Sheriff's Office, the Idaho Attorney General investigators, the FBI, Chandler and Gilbert Police Departments. The willingness of so many different law enforcement agencies to work together and pool resources to obtain justice for these victims is unprecedented. All of these agencies work together with the single goal of justice in mind, and we cannot thank them enough. From the Madison County Prosecutor's Office, we are so grateful for the working relationship and partnership we've had with Lindsey Blake and everyone at the Fremont County Prosecutor's Office in obtaining justice, both in this trial and the trial against Lori Vallow. That includes not only Lindsey, her deputies Tanya Rawling, Rocky Wixom, and all their help staff. I'd also like to thank Ingrid Brady, Beatty for being here with us and the Attorney General for allowing her to work with us. And I want to say that Lindsay Blake's dedication to each of the, the victims in this case has been unwavering. Her willing, willingness to take on this case when she took office, when she didn't have to, was absolutely courageous. It has been an honor to work with her. And I'd also like to thank members of the Madison County Prosecutor's Office who've helped on this case, Prosecutors Spencer Rammel, Mackenzie Cole, and Rachel Smith who's, who've helped on this case. Today, justice was served for Tylee, JJ, and Tammy. Three innocent victims whose lives were tragically cut short by the selfish and cruel actions of Chad and Lori Daybell who embarked on a path of destruction that irrevocably altered the lives of countless families and countless individuals. While nothing can undo the immense harm caused, we have worked tirelessly to secure a measure of justice for Tylee, JJ, and Tammy. This week, a diligent and attentive Ada County jury carefully considered the evidence and presented and returned a verdict of guilty on all counts. Last year, an Ada County jury did that for Lori Vallow-Daybell as well. Pursuing justice in this case required the unwa unwavering dedication of a large team of public servants who have devoted the last four and a half years to ensuring we had the evidence to prove guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. Again, we extend our deepest gratitude to all the committed law enforcement professionals from these agencies who have made tremendous personal sacrifices in the face of an emotionally and physically challenging case. We are indebted to them for their service. We also want to applaud the incredible strength and resilience of the victims and family members who, despite unimaginable grief, have stood with us these past four and a half years in our pursuit of the truth. Their support has been invaluable. To all those who held Tylee, JJ, and Tammy in their hearts, we hope these verdicts bring a measure of healing and closure. And may the memory of Tylee, JJ, and Tammy continue to be a blessing to all who knew and loved them. Thank you. every attorney handles it a little bit different and probably every investigator. I think a lot of times there's things that go on behind the scenes that nobody ever gets to see. Everyone compartmentalizes it different or comes up with some form of therapy or stress relief to deal with it. Um, but I think I can speak for everyone that obviously there is an impact. You get to know the victims. Um, you learn so much about their history and their lives that it, it's like you knew them in life sometimes. And when you hear their families and friends talk about them and they really bring them to life for you, 
absolutely there's an impact, but I also think that impact then just spurs you on to fight even harder to make sure that we secure justice. Another question? I believe the fact that those jurors unanimously found every aggravating factor speaks for itself um, in terms of, of its appropriateness. And uh, I'll leave that at that. We actually, we're not going to talk about that today. what they want to see happen with the case and that their rights as victims are being upheld. In this particular case, I think the victims' families have been fantastic to work with. Um, we've tried to make ourselves available, meet with them whenever they have questions and keep them as informed as possible. I think you heard at times, sometimes unfortunately, they learned of things before we were able to reach out to them and that can always be a challenge as well. But working with them, getting to know them, hearing the stories about their loved ones, Hearing the good memories, hearing them bring the victim to life has been an incredible experience. Uh, I think we've enjoyed a good working relationship with all the victims in this case. I second everything she, ju Lindsay just said, and I would also just say that the uh, these cases are hard. They're, they're really hard to do, and uh, the victims are just such a motivating factor. I think for everybody involved, for law enforcement, for the prosecution office, um, their dedication to their loved ones is, uh, is so important. And we just really appreciate uh, their patience with us, their willingness to work with us. Uh, they have been truly, to me, I think to Lindsay, to everybody, uh, very inspirational. Ask that in a couple of years and we'll see. <laughs> I mean, it feels great. We we worked as a team tirelessly for four years, not just myself. It was a collaborative effort. Um, I have a great team. We, we worked with several different agencies, um, so it's a team effort. But I think we're all feeling the exact same thing, which is just relief. We're glad it's done. We got justice for uh, JJ, Tammy, and Tylee, so that's what counts. I would I would say hundreds, yeah, hundreds of people, hundreds of hours. So it's a relief. Thank you. We technically had seven law enforcement agencies, not including the prosecutors, over three different states and maybe even more, but seven law enforcement agencies. All right, anybody else? All right, thank you all so much. We really appreciate it. Thank you all for everything. Thank <laughs> you.